Well, here I am at 45 degrees south, almost due south of Fremantle at the moment. Conditions at the moment slightly overcast. We've got about 30 knots blowing and about four or five meters swell. Spartan's been making speeds up to about 25 knots in the past 24 hours, and my last six hour average was 14. So we're moving pretty quickly. But of course we're going to need to do, because I gave away about 500 miles at the beginning of this leg. I took a dive south out of Cape Town, which was looking good initially, and then just got worse and worse as I drove into that high pressure system. Wasn't able to make it into the westies I wanted, and it's been a bit of an uphill struggle since then. The boat, though, been running fantastically well. And the center of the boat, of course, is the Raymarine system. and everything from the top of the mast down to the depth transducer. It's all Raymarine, and I've been incredibly impressed with the reliability of this system. The only thing that we've had to replace in about 17,000 miles is one electrolinear ram, and it had already been around the world 30,000 miles with Sir Robin, and perhaps it needed to lie down in a dark room for a little while. The two pieces of equipment I'd like to just quickly mention to you Firstly, the autopilot, which I mentioned about, which even as I'm standing here making this, this video to you, is doing its job as always. I steer about 20% of the time, I imagine, a couple of hours a day, and the autopilot does the rest of it. Whether it's been light airs under kite or heavy conditions as we've had in the last couple of days, it's done an incredible job. And I'm really, really impressed by, firstly, how little power it takes and secondly nice quiet operation which I do try and sleep once in a while but also how accurate it's been whether it's steering by the wind making to a point that I've set in for it or just driving down the course as we are right now the other piece of equipment I want to mention is the E120 chart plotter I've got which has got a hybrid touch system which means if I've got wet or dry hands I can work directly with the screen or with the buttons. It's a great piece of equipment and most of the time I switch all the other navigation systems off and just run with that because it draws so little power and I can monitor pretty much everything I need to know uh, with that one system. Tie that into my AIS system, I feel pretty safe even though I can't man the deck for watch all of the time, which is of course one of the great worries with this kind of solo sailing. All of the equipment on board has all been kindly made available by Raymarine UK and I'd like to thank especially to Fiona and to Paul who came down to the boat on so many occasions and put this package together and listened to my needs and put the piece of equipment on board that I needed and have helped me with the servicing and just checking all over in the different ports and making sure that everything's absolutely tip top. Thanks very much to Ray Marine and to everybody. Enjoy the boat show, have a great day, and uh, I'll keep doing whatever I can here to get a better position and make you proud. Thanks very much. Cheers.